So, um, one thing that has actually given me great comfort is that God is found in everything, in all places where you see um, truly good and beautiful things. So God is found throughout the secular world. And um, how is this so possible? A lot of it is because a lot of his true righteous children do not know they're Christians. Um, because the Christian church has not embraced the ideals of Jesus Christ. They have um, bickered and sin-shamed and uh, made God into something he's not. Anyway, um, he showed me, or he's been showing me this past year, all of the places where he has kind of inserted himself. And last night, I, this is probably like some copyright problem, but there's this song called Saturn. And um, I don't remember. I'll, I'll put it in the... I'll put it in the title. I don't even remember who the band is. I just know that this song, and he said he even inspired the uh, music video. And I know this, I knew it immediately because God is some kind of spiral. Like sometimes he makes my eyes do that. And um, like a lot of the things that happen are, are these spiral shapes. He loves circles. He loves uh, pie. He loves um, math. He loves he loves um, the weather. He loves tornadoes. He loves he's wow. Anyway, um, I'm not sure everyone will hear heaven in this song, but when I went to heaven, I this is like the feel it's a sadness and and a it's songs about how life carries on after death and what a gift existence is He loves so many of the things that um, human beings have created. He's in love with human beings. And so a song like this is um, essentially written by, I, I don't know, he can't tell me if this person is a Christian or not, but I can tell by their soul that they will be in the kingdom of heaven. They will come to Jesus Christ during this end time, so they've always been his child. So, so many of this, th the things in our culture on our earth are from him because he has inspired um, essentially the prodigal children of the world. They're gonna come to him again and they're in the book of life. Anyway, um, I will put the name of this song uh, in the title. But it's called Saturn, and uh, if you need a moment of kind of communing with the the universal kind of uh, power of God, um, there were lots of like waves crashing in heaven, and when I listen to this song, I can kind of feel that level of the power of God. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. If you like this kind of thing. Um, I guess like it or leave me a comment because there are a lot of things in secular culture that he has inspired and uh, God is not exclusive to Christian media, Christian materials. Um, wickedness is, 
wickedness doesn't come from the Lord. So if it's wicked, he did not inspire it. But if it's pure of heart and it's loving and it's um, universal, it's from God. All right. So anyway, I guess I, I just really want to say becoming a Christian does not mean you abandon the secular things of this world because many of them are from God. Amen.